Oh, hello, Griffcast IRL. Just another short video for you today to explain some of the more crazy shit that's going on in the world. And oh boy, it looks like uh, some weird things have happened just over the weekend. Good old Tucker Carlson has been fired from Fox News. Some people are just saying that he's out, they parting ways, whatever, don't know what the heck is going on with that, but it does seem to be pretty straight and understanding when we're looking at this, because obviously CNN is celebrating to the umph degree, and even CNN has just uh, lost another one of their big anchors, and we'll also be making a video about that particular situation but right now the big talk of the town is that there's going to be no more fox news and tucker carlson the evil white ring lying extremist so on and so forth whatever i mean it's kind of actually crazy because it's coming a week after fox news just settled that defamation lawsuit with dominion voting systems for 787 million dollars and uh if you don't forget Mr. Carlson was actually one of the individuals that was caught saying that he didn't know why everybody was pushing this and he wasn't happy to, happy that Trump was doing this, so on and so forth. So I thought it was a little bit strange, even though everybody's kind of saying it the same way that, yeah, Tucker Carlson and Fox News are just parting ways and it might have something to do with the Dominion Voting Systems lawsuit, but nobody really surely has a complete understanding of what's going on. As far as I can tell, the stock price for these guys over at Fox Corp has uh, definitely taken a big spill since the news. I mean, it's not the biggest spill. I mean, it's literally about a dollar or so that it's really gone down, but it's definitely something that people have been saying stuff about for at least a long time. I mean, even going on to Twitter, you can see that there are just tons of people tweeting right now about this situation. And I mean, what can we really say or do? I don't know. It seems like uh, Bud Light thought it was going to be the biggest loser and then Fox News decided to come in and say, hold my beer. I think that we could definitely piss off way more people. And uh, scrolling through this, it seems like a lot of folks are saying that Fox News has made a very, very big mistake. A lot of people are talking about canceling their Fox News subscriptions or finally fully getting rid of cable TV. And I mean, even for me, if Fox News isn't going to be around, I really don't have anything to be listening to over on that XM radio, if you know what I mean. So it is what it is. Here's uh, Glenn Greenwald actually putting some interesting stuff out that was good good stuff that Tucker Carlson did like he was the cable host who most opposed the U.S. proxy war in Ukraine he denounced the CIA FBI and DHS for their systematic lies and corruption he actually devoted himself to a pardon for Julian Assange and he objected regime change efforts in Cuba and he actually criticized the Trump administration's militarism, or some would say the lack of that their militarism, which makes a lot of sense, I guess. I mean, he was never exactly fully on the Trump side. He was always his own man saying his own things. But what's this going to do with him in the near future? I don't really know, man. I mean, obviously... This kind of thing that keeps happening is one thing, but then looking at some of the videos that are out there of stuff that he said is probably an even bigger thing. Like, let's check like, this clip out. I've spent my whole life in the media. My dad was in the media. Like, that is a big part of the revelation that's changed my life is the media are part of the control apparatus. Like, there's no... Yeah, I know, I know. Because you're younger and smarter and you're like, yeah. Yeah. But what if you're me and you spent your whole life in that world? And to look around and all of a sudden you're like, oh, wow, not only are they part of the problem, but I spent most of my life being part of the problem defending the Iraq war. Like I actually did that. Can you imagine if you did that? Well, what do you think? What is one of your biggest regrets in your career? Oh, defending the Iraq war. That is it? Well, I've had a million regrets, not being more skeptical, calling people names when I should have listened to what they were saying. Look, when you when someone makes a claim, there's only one question 
that's important at the very beginning, which is, is the claim true or not? Mm. So I say, you know, you committed murder or you rigged the last election before you attack me as a crazy person for saying that, maybe you should explain whether you did it or not. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. Hmm. Think about that. It's almost like he knew that he was on the way out and he knew people were going to be coming out out after him, but literally so many different speeches that you're watching from him, things that he's been saying over the last couple of months have been pretty clear is that you're not watching politics anymore. You're just watching evil. And if Tucker Carlson has been over the mark and the executives like Rupert Murdoch and such don't want him on the show anymore, you got to think about it. Like, where's he going to go here in the near future? And legitimately, it's a good question of where is he going to go? Here's Devin Stack saying base Tucker has to say X instead of being honest and saying Y or he isn't allowed to be on Fox, get booted from Fox. Don't worry. Now he'll start being super based and join the intellectual dark web or something. And that's probably what's going to be happening. Is it not like we're where do people go after they get booted off of TV, right? Can Tucker Carlson really go to any of the other news organizations and start doing work for him? Or is he going to follow the same thing that a lot of us did by starting YouTube channels, going to Rumble, starting to upload videos, so on and so forth? Is that the kind of options that we're going to get out of him? Or is he just going to take a month off and try to figure out all of this stuff, right? Because this is very, very different. And maybe it has something to do with the Rony virus vaccinations because he did have Robert F. Kennedy Jr. on his show not that long ago. And some people seem to feel some, some way about that. But getting into some of the other networks, it has been tweeted that Tucker Carlson has been fired or let go from all three of the biggest networks, Tucker Carlson actually did work with CNN all the way back to 2005. He was also on MSNBC and had a show canceled in 2008. And now he's canceled off of Fox News in 2023. And I mean, he's literally the first TV host in history to be fired by CNN, MSNBC and Fox News. Basically, the cable TV triple crown <laughs> which is obviously this is from somebody that doesn't like Tucker Carlson. I don't think he's a loser. I think it's just there. And then, you know, we look at the last segment on Fox News. What is Tonight it about? We interviewed a heroic pizza delivery what was it about? Tyler Morrell and oh, conscious of the opportunity was to use guy. our job to get free food. We thought we'd like to taste your pizza. Yeah, Tyler let's Morrell eat the pizza. joins us in studio. He will deliver literally anywhere. <laughs> Tyler, it is so great, pies for great it to meet you in person. A couple of Coco's Pies. So we at these are from Coco's, established mm. 1978. Everybody Coco's loves pies. Coco's Pizza. That's right. Where's Coco's base? Uh, Aston, Pennsylvania and Delaware County. Delaware County, yep. best part of the state. I think Ooh, we have a special cheese pies. We have a special pie for you okay. here. Here's Tucker's Pie. So I am, Tucker's as you can like tell, a pizza aficionado. I was a pizza delivery boy for two years. Is it years. warm at all? Yeah, it's totally <laughs> warm. These warmers are just like one of the great wonders of science. We're gonna, this is sausage oh, this is, that's sausage and uh, pineapple. Right, and really quick, as a pizza professional, do you look down on this order? Is this I do. I what? think that I, I consider it. Oh. <laughs> ah, I see. So maybe it is okay that Tucker Carlson got fired. Nobody should be putting pineapples on their pizza. I know, I know. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So what's what what what, what would we go here, man? This is some crazy news. Popping up out of nowhere, not something that I even thought that I was going to be seeing myself. Like, I thought it was pretty strange waking up and hearing that Tucker Carlson just got fired is not exactly the way that I thought the day was going to be starting with me. And then seeing how CNN has also fired another one of their big anchors for seemingly very similar reasons it should start telling you that like we are in that situation where they're going to start axing people left and right and you got to ask yourself which side you're going to be on and let me know what you think in the comment section below because this is going to be a lot crazier i think i think there's going to be a lot more people that are going to be getting fired and i really hope that uh tucker decides that he's going to start a youtube channel or a podcast or a rumble channel or something let me know. Adios.